On today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Mattel, the Dark Knight Movie Master figures. We're looking today at this Scarecrow with a crime scene evidence of the actual Scarecrow mask. Uh, the packaging would be the same as all the other Dark Knight mo Movie Master figures. There's nothing that varies at all. And I'm actually wondering if they're going to uh, change up the packaging at all. Uh, maybe, of course, give something different in the way of logo for the Dark Knight Rises mo Movie Master figures, which I am actually excited about getting. Uh, but it does come with a very crude-looking Scarecrow mask as the evidence. On the back of the package, there's actually a really nice picture of the uh, Scarecrow up the top there. And he says, experience the denizens of Gotham City in all their heroic or hideous glory with Movie Master figures. These highly detailed figures give you the up-close and personal look at the unsettling presentation of Scarecrow and the subtleties of Batman's suit. And speaking of Batman, the other figures that you can get, there's a Chase Ghoul figure from Batman Begins, uh, and also the Batman from Batman Begins. Both of which come with Batarangs. Uh, the only one I have not picked up is the Ghoul and uh, as far as I know, he is still pretty expensive on eBay. I probably don't necessarily need to pick him up. But anyways, that is packaging aside. What I'm going to do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up. We are going to have a look at the Master of Fear Scarecrow. Stay tuned. Having a look at the crime scene evidence, uh, what we get in the case of Scarecrow here is a very crude burlap sack. It's supposed to really de depict the uh, the scarecrow mask as you can see there's eyes going on there um, I, it is it is pretty crude though there's a there's a cord like a cord wrapping uh, tying off the bottom of it uh, but uh, you can take the mask you can take the crime scene evidence bag as same bag that has been released with every other movie master figure I mean, I'm curious to see if that they're gonna do the evidence bags with the the Dark Knight Rises movie master figures, and if that's the case, uh, I wouldn't necessarily, uh, I would say that they could probably just avoid putting the evidence bags in. I don't see a need for the evidence. I would just prefer more accessories than anything else, um, but you do get that. I just kind of just tossed it to the side. Having a look at the Scarecrow figure, I gotta say this is one of my favorite movie master figures. Uh, now, they have re-released, well, they later released a Scarecrow in a suit, a business suit, and I'll, I will be reviewing him as well. Um, for the meantime, though, the original Scarecrow figure that we got is the Scarecrow as depicted from the very end of the movie. When Katie Holmes, Rachel Dawson, is stuck down in the, the bowels of Gotham City, and in, in rides the Scarecrow and says, I believe, something along the lines of, the only thing to fear is fear itself. Um, but a very cool looking Scarecrow figure. This is definitely one of my favorite Scarecrow figures. It certainly beats the standard deluxe figures that came for, for, a dark, for the Batman Begins toys because uh, that Scarecrow was just terrible. Um, but I think the detailing on the mask is just fantastic. You can see all the stitching. You can see the eyes underneath. And I actually, what I like about it is even though it is not, as you can see, it is not a mask over top of a face, uh, it does look as if there is a an actual face underneath had you peeled this off. You can even see that there is hair from, um, from Scarecrow underneath. I think they picked a perfect... Cillian Murphy, I think that his name is? I think they picked a perfect Scarecrow. Um, as you can also see, he's wearing his straight jacket. The strapping on the back there open, so you can still see that he's wearing a shirt and pants underneath. I like these really, really long sleeves that they've given him as well. Just a fantastic figure. In the way of Scarecrow's articulation, you can also see too there's a bit of a noose kind of tie off there. I kind of like that too. Uh, Scarecrow's articulation is he has a ball jointed head. He has a pin and socket shoulder that will allow his arms to bend in and out, rotate all the way around. 
there is a bend in the elbow. There is a rotation in the hand, although you can't really get into the hand because the way the sleeves are, are done, but that's not really that big of a deal. Uh, there is a mid-torso uh, mid torso bend, but you can't really get into it uh, just because this uh, the straight jacket is kind of covering a lot of it. Uh, his legs, however, do bend forward and back in and out, a rotation in the thigh, a bend at the knee, and of course the hinge bend in the foot. Now, as a matter of preference, you, you yourself might prefer the Scarecrow more in the suit, and when I open that figure up, I'll do a comparison between the two. Uh, or you might prefer Scarecrow here from, uh, from you know, the, the end of the movie in Batman Begins. I kind of love this figure. I just, I just think he's got a lot going on, and uh, he's just got a really good personality to him. And uh, by the way, if anybody was asking, Spot, what are you going to give him? Uh, I think I'm going to give Movie Master Scarecrow here, I'm going to give him a 7.5. Just a great figure to get, and uh, if you really are on the fence as to what you want to pick up for the Movie Master figures, I think Scarecrow is certainly a good bet. Let me know down below if you have this figure, and also let me know down below what you would give this figure as a rating. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys next time.